Hello and welcome. Let us invite you to join the ARCUS MOOC Challenge-Based Learning in Higher Education. What even is Challenge-Based Learning, abbreviated CBL? What are its benefits and challenges? What is its origin? How does it compare to the other contemporary interactive learning and teaching methods? Who are the main participants? And what are their roles and responsibilities, as well as competences? What is the main process and how do you implement CBL in your own course? How can the assessment in CBL be planned and implemented? What are disciplinary and transversal competences? Hi, my name is Katharina Hauser and I work at the University of Graz. Join me in the first unit of this MOOC to get an overview of CBL. We will explore the defining characteristics of CBL, its origins, benefits and drawbacks and trace the path of the learning process in CBL. Hi, I'm Sylvia Didier. I work at the School of Management at the University Lyon 3. In my part, Unit 2, the CBL Makers, you will learn about the people involved in CBL and will have an in-depth look at competences. Competences necessary for setting up an innovative, inspiring learning environment and transversal competences that students might acquire through the participation in CBL. I will be joined by Smita Moanti from the University Lyon 3 who will share with you a hands-on framework to define student competences. Hi, my name is Noemi Dominguez and I work at the School of Management of the University Lyon 3. In my part, Unit 3, Challenge-Based Learning in Action, you'll learn about CBL in action. We will discuss about the main phases, what they're made of, and to get some tips to use it efficiently. Hello, my name is Jurgita Vizgirdeita. I am from Vilnius University Business School in Lithuania. In the final unit of this MOOC, you will learn about assessment in challenge-based learning, including the role of formative and summative assessment, and how to assess competence development. Also, in this unit, Smita Mohanty from the University of Lyon 3 provides an example of how a competence framework can be used to help students assess their competence level and development. Testimonials from teachers and students of the University of Padua give you insights into CBL in practice. Challenge-based learning in higher education. The key to unique, interesting and challenging learning. Join now!